not do partisan politics. And hence, this is not a partisan call. It is rather a patriotic call to the owners of this nation, i.e. young people. We are aware that in their quest to perpetuate the status quo and their hold on political power, some politicians have succeeded in breaking the front of young people who are hitherto regarded or described as the conscience of the nation by dividing all of us along partisan lines. In this regard, even genuine calls and efforts aimed at fighting for the youth are sometimes met with insult on social media and opposition, not from the gerontocratic political office holders, but from some few partisan and gullible young people. We entreat all these people to note that it is in their own interest and that of their children to support our call. We call on all those teeming level-headed young people who we know exist not to remain silent and mind their own business as they usually do, but demand their rightful participation in decision-making under the inspiration of this call. I'm very passionate about this, and I want all of us to take this message you know, across because Ghana belongs to us. Look at this. The average age of African population, we are told, the average age, if you put Africans together and you strike an average in terms of their age, according to a recent UNDP report, it's 19.5 years. If you put all of us in Africa together and look for our average median age, we are 19.5 years. Yet the average age of our leaders is 62 years. Now why? Must this not be of concern to the honest and preponderant constituent of this continent? Let me say without equivocation, please listen to this carefully. Let me say without equivocation that this is not about President Nana Kufuado being over 70 years. It's not about John Mahama being over 60 years. It's not about Speaker Michael Kwe being over 70. Never. We are not interested in pettiness. It is rather about the general cliche being ingrained in the political psyche of Ghana that the political and governance role of young people lies only in food soldierism. That is what we are talking about. So we are not looking at anybody's age here. So that we say um, the headlines will be that, well, Ransford Jampo is attacking who? No, we are not interested in that. We are saying that there seems to be a certain psyche that is being ingrained or perpetuated in our, in our body politic. That our role as young people, the only thing we can do is to serve as full soldiers. Many of our current parliamentarians are considered now experienced today because they were given the opportunity to serve when they were relatively young. So Idrisu Haruna is now a minority Leader, go check the age. He still looks young, but he's old. But check the age at which he entered parliament. We must start from somewhere. Former President Mahama and certain President Nana Kufuado were not born presidents. They had the opportunity to undergo mentorship and grooming by serving in various capacities within the public sphere, proud to their election to lead this country.